Industries. The first stop in the series was the Canadian Tire Cobblestone Classic from Winnipeg. In the Criterium, Chris Huber of Coors Light was part of an eight-man breakaway, which by this time had lapped the field. With six laps to go, Huber attacks. This was the first of a seven events totaling 19 days of racing and took us from central Canada through Ontario, down to the Maritimes, and back to the West Coast. Chris Huber of Coors Light holds on to win the first event of the Canadian Tire Cycling Series, the Cobblestone Classic. In second place was Todd McNutt of Evian, and third place, Huber's teammate, Roberto Gaggioli of Coors Light. The second race took us about two hours west of Winnipeg to Brandon, Manitoba, the road race. And on the home stretch, after three and a half hours of racing, close to 150 kilometers, Chesla Lukasevich outsprints Andreas Ulati and Colin Davidson for the victory. The second event of the series was the Canadian Tire International Criterium around Queen's Park in Toronto. 30 laps into the 50 lap race, a group of six riders are 20 seconds ahead of the field. They include John Brady of Spago, Gord Fraser of Magic Cuts, and Brian McDonough of Coors Light. Then the rains came, making things very wet, slippery, and dangerous. After 16 laps, the lead group was caught. And at 13 laps to go, Roberto Gaggioli and Todd McNutt are on a breakaway. McNutt and Evian would dearly love to end Coors Light's reign in Criterium wins at one. They won in Winnipeg, but Roberto Gaggioli, one of the best sprinters in North America, last year's overall Canadian tire champion. They stayed away wheel to wheel until the final sprint. But on this day, Todd McNutt was no match to the faster Roberto Gaggioli of Coors Light as they pick up their second strike criterium victory, the 1992 Canadian Tire National Cycling Series. So Roberto Gaggioli wins the Canadian Tire International Criterium in Toronto. Dundas, Ontario, just outside the city of Hamilton was the site of the CCM Olympic Trials Road Race. Scott Price in the blue and white jersey on the left, Natal Sigard on the right lead in the final lap of a 15 lap, 165 kilometer road race, a grueling race through 30 degree temperatures. The race came down to a sprint halfway up the final two kilometer hill. Scott Price chooses a high gear, a big mistake as he goes out in the sprint and the more experienced Natal Sigard just powers right by him. Sigard spent three years racing in France and that experience helps him right here in the final sprint to the finish, and he solidifies his spot on Canada's Olympic road race team. What a great comeback for this rider who just four years ago was almost out of cycling after a severe blood infection. Natal Sigard wins the CCM Olympic Trials road race. On to the nation's capital for the third event in the series, the Canadian Tire Capital Challenge. The 57-lap criterium featured some great cream sprints like this one between Gordon Fraser of Magic Cuts, he's on the outside, and Coors Light's Alex Stita, and the yellow, white, and blue on the inside. And Gordon Fraser just beats him at the finish line. The lightning fast course proved too fast for some riders who crashed here. Fortunately, there were no serious injuries. The finish came down to another great sprint between John Brady of Team Spago and Roberto Gaggioli of Coors Light. This time, John Brady put an end to the Coors Light string of Criterium victories. The Spalding Olympic Trials road race was held across the Ottawa River in the scenic Gatineau Park in Hull, Quebec. Early in the 176 kilometer race, a three-man break developed. Gord Fraser in the white jersey, an Ottawa native, Scott McKinley of Team Spago, and Blair Saunders riding for the Calgary-based Cyclemeisters. This trio stayed in front together until the final lap when Gord Fraser was dropped by the leaders and then by the chase group because of a mechanical problem with his bike. A big disappointment for Gord Fraser. On the final lap, Scott McKinley leads Blair Saunders to the finish line. And on the final sprint, Saunders has nothing left. McKinley is unchallenged as he rides in for the victory. Scott McKinley wins the Spalding Olympic Trials road race. Grand Prix Cycliste de Beauce Canadian Tire was the fourth event in the series from La Belle Provence. The first of six stages kicked off in Quebec City with a criterium along and through the famous Plains of Abraham. This event had a very international field, 
and featured teams from France and Russia. In the final sprint, it looked like Team Evian was in control with Yvonne Waddell and Tim Lefebvre at the front. But on the outside, Gort Fraser hammers away to erase the disappointment he felt in the whole road race. Gort Fraser wins stage one. On to the beautiful Beauce region of Quebec for the final five stages. Stage two, the Saint-Marie road race runs 155 kilometers through scenic rural Quebec. After four hours of racing, a large field of 140 riders has come down to this group of six at the front of the race in the final sprint. Natal Sagard, using that international experience, moves in front and out sprints the field to win stage two his second win in the Canadian Tire National Cycling Series. Cycling very popular in Quebec, even the little kids are led out of school to watch the start of stage three, the Seine Gideon to Mont Megantique, 104 kilometer road race. Cesla Lukasevich in the purple series leader jersey on the front of the lead group, they lead it down a big hill. Lukasevich, really working hard at Mont Magantique, but is overtaken by the French rider, Jean-Christophe Curit, who bridges from the field on his own. Curit is a very strong Olympic contender for France, an excellent climber, as you can see here. He's way off by himself, leaving everyone behind him. Curit showing great form, finishes alone in two hours and 44 minutes, 51 seconds, a minute 25 ahead of Tesla Lukasiewicz. Jean-Christophe Curet wins stage three. Stage four of the Grand Prix Cycliste de Beauce Canadian Tire, a 120 kilometer saint Gideon road race. Another large field, close to 150 riders, starting this stage four. It came down to a battle between series leader Tesla Lukasiewicz in the purple jersey on your left, and the red and white jersey of Gord Fraser of Magic Cuts Wilco. Lukasiewicz looks behind him, sees where Fraser is and the rest of the pack as he starts a little cat and mouse game. He's getting ready for the final sprint. He would love to win this race. Takes it out, Fraser's right behind. Unfortunately for Lukasiewicz, he will be denied victory as Gord Fraser moves up to beat him right at the finish line. Gord Fraser wins stage four. On to stage five, and bad weather greeted the riders in the St. Prosper Road Race, 120 kilometers of cold and wet riding. With just five kilometers remaining, Jacques Landry leads a group of four riders, Colin Davidson in the pink on the outside, the Russian Belzeev in the red jersey, and the Frenchman Curet. Unfortunately, Landry flats and drops back for an untimely service. Tough luck for Jack Landry. Now approaching the start-finish line. On the right, in the pink, Colin Davidson making his move. Jack Landry is out of the race at this point. Belge of the Russian moving up on Davidson's wheel. Colin Davidson is going to try some blocking moves here, and he's going to hold off Belge up for the victory as he hammers down to the finish line. Colin Davidson of Edmonton, Team Evian, holds on to win the St. Prosper Road Race. Stage six, the St. George 70 kilometer criterium. This is the final stage of Grand Prix Cycliste Canadian Tire. Approaching 11 laps to go, Jason Crookham makes a move to go out in front of the pack. But 15 seconds later, Emmanuel Magnien of Team France pulls up and they have a two man breakaway at this point. Late in the criterium now, Peter Nover has joined this breakaway, a three-man breakaway as they come down to the final sprint. Nover makes his move. Unfortunately, Emmanuel Magnien, a much better rider in the late stages, and he's going to out-sprint the other two and win the final stage of the Grand Prix Cycliste Canadian Tire. <laughs>